All right, so tonight on TV Dinners, we got the Drinky Crow Show. This is season one, episode one. I think it's season one of one. Anyways, uh, this episode's titled Beer Goggles. Yeah, we got a very surreal show. Here we have one that I actually haven't seen and Chris recommended. And we follow a character named Drinky Crow who just got dumped by his girlfriend. So his buddy, what's the friend's name? Uncle Gabby? Yeah, Uncle Gabby. Um, tells them that they need to start lower in their standards, so they hook up with these two deformed women. But Drinky Crow's having a hard time enjoying his time with them, so he cuts his own eyes out and replaces them with beer goggles, which basically make him see the world in a completely different light. That's the first half of the episode, because <laughs> then it goes into the entire world ending from like a device that aliens left there, and now the aliens are returning just to make sure there's no survivors. It's a very... You, you described it well before you watched it. Surreal show. This is one of those, uh, I know I need to be in bed adult swim shows, right? <laughs> Like, if you're watching it, you should be asleep, <laughs> at least during the age that this aired for me. So, um, it was one of those weird, surreal adult swim shows that I absolutely loved, but I knew I shouldn't be watching. <laughs> I think the show has a really unique art style. I'm normally not a big fan of cell shaded animation. I normally kind of see it as a way to cheap out on animation. And I think that's probably the case with this show. I think 2D probably would have costed more than what they did in the show but i still think you you can tell they're trying you can i think with most adult swim shows you can always tell they're trying if not in the animation department somewhere else adult swim is pretty good at finding passion projects i feel so the funny thing about this one is uh, as i've learned today thanks to uh, i guess a minor research that there was a comic book um that these characters came from and i think that that's really nice right that they have that but it doesn't seem to rely upon it yeah I, you would not need to read the comic to follow this at all my favorite joke in this episode is the aliens and how they're kind of um i don't know how to put it sassy i guess <laughs> they have like an awkward relationship between the two of them because one is clearly jealous of the other i think that the show is pretty good with like dry dialogue i think that uncle gabby has some like pretty funny remarks too uh, drinky crow and I feel the same way about those two aliens and again I agree it's not really not necessarily laugh out loud funny but it's still funny like it's it's fun to listen to them uh I, I think I think these two main characters are good I definitely like Uncle Gabby more than drinky crow just because I think he has a better voice drinky crow I honestly I love the person who voiced his drinky crow it's uh Dino Stopolis, the creator of More Oral and Starburns on Community. That was a fun little bit of research we got. Yeah. Um, that got done before recording this. Uh, I think that Drinky Crow and this, this again, my only episode of the show, it's very high and I got tired of it a couple of times. Um, but I, I get it. Is he supposed to be like overly whimsical in this one? And I don't think he's supposed to be like that most of the time. No. I was gonna say, I, I think I think at the beginning of the episode, I didn't really notice that. So I think that was like the point in this episode. Is that supposed to be like really high and whimsical, and it's supposed to be annoying? Yeah, if I remember correctly, he's a depressed character. And with that being said, for how like the show looks, you wouldn't think it gets gross or gruesome, but it, it kind of does in some scenes. Not like outrageously, like oh my god, that's terrifying. But like uh, he cuts out his eyes for the beer goggles. <laughs> And they do show, like, them cutting the stem, like, him, like, digging yeah. into it. Now, I will say, with that being said, I think the cartoonish style of the show, it, it makes it pretty easy to look at, like, where if, like, fucking Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Time did something like that, it would be fucking disgusting to look at. Yeah. Because that was a show that got, like, a way more into the details. This show, it has, like, a simple enough style to where you can look at that without it being terrible. But, yeah, there is still, there's definitely gross out in the show. I just think it's tolerable gross out you know i think another thing that makes it kind of funny is the fact like when we see characters with um unaliving jokes i think that normally they kind of cop out of it or don't show it but the show straight up did <laughs> you know i think that there's something about the pacing that made me laugh at that part <laughs> um because I, it's just it's done so nonchalantly like he just fucking it, it just happens so quickly and then he's completely fine in the next scene it's just like blowing his brains out is a casual thing for him to do i have to agree with you on uncle gabby being the better character because he does it and then uncle gabby's like can we have a word <laughs> yeah i love that <laughs> 
Like, this is such a common thing for him to do. And it is, because even at the ending, he's like, can I have my unaliving gun? And Uncle Gabby's like, yeah, here you go. <laughs> While I do like Uncle Gabby's, like, voice better and his dialogue better, again, just for this first episode, um... I do actually like Drinky Crow's design a lot. I think it's like my... He, he reminds me of something with the eye and whatnot. I, I think it's like some old web animation I watch. Maybe even an Undertale character, actually. But I, I just... I love the way that this character looks. Especially, like, the design of his eye where, it, like, based on, like, whether he's sober or not, it changes to an X. The episode's very unfocused. It's very all over the place. It kind of feels like something that you might write when you're stoned, where you kind of lose focus on what you were writing about in the first place, because they just kind of introduce a completely different element to the episode halfway through, like I said. But they, I don't know, you're kind of just there for the ride. You know, this isn't like a masterpiece of writing or anything, but it's fun. I don't really know if this is a show that I would be like, yeah, check this out today, because it's like one of those shows where you could watch one episode and then just drop it oh <laughs> you know like it's i feel like the series is you know what you're getting into you either think it's funny and you're gonna watch it continually i think it's more or less of made for tv right right where it feels like it's just on air to be on air you know it's not it's something that people like but not something that people be like oh god it's on i need to change the channel you know so i think it's a show that i would enjoy while stoned yeah and i do think i would enjoy watching it because again it's just like it takes you on a very weird journey just in this first episode so i think i i think stone Mackle would enjoy this quite a bit <laughs> yeah but uh non-stone Mackle still thinks it's neat it's a neat little cartoon it's fun watching stuff like this on adult swim I agree, it's not necessarily what I'm dying to sit down and watch all the episodes for, but I'm open to it. I'm open to at least watching another one. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty good first episode of a very short-lived series. 